Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is my new channel and this is my first video on this channel and in this video I will show you how to fix low FPS issue and how to fix lag for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on New Zealand Volator and how to get maximum performance and more performance for this game in Juzo. So let's get started. As you can see on my computer screen, I have user only access. So guys, you can use both versions like mainline build or early access. So both user emulator are workable and usable with this game. So do not skip any part of this video. I will explain everything for this game in Yuzo. Uh, to get maximum performance so do not skip any part of this video first of all make sure your settings for this game in user emulator uh, already completed so go to emulation and go to configuration so it's very important part guys uh, go to general tab and select multi-core cpu emulation multi-core cpu emulation is very important to get more performance and use a monitor for any switch game so check this option and go to cpu so select auto or unsafe both options are useful but i recommend uh, auto because i never used uh, unsafe option uh, in my user emulator so i recommend auto and go to graphics tab and select walking from here because uh, walking is better than OpenGL uh, uh, for performance in user first two games. And uh, after selecting walking, select your GPU device. If you have multiple GPU devices, then select your powerful GPU from here. So I have only one GPU device over here, you can see. And after selecting your GPU device and uh, check these options already selected by default and select your GPU video, video decoding and uh, select the resolution scale 1x 720p 1080p and select from here AMD super resolution if you are using Vulkan then select super resolution and select from here this one uh, no not here this one this one and go to advanced tab and check these two options Vulkan only and Vulkan only for maximum clocks so all that is selected and use OVSync if you are using OpenGL then select use OVSync otherwise you can disable this option so I'm using Vulkan so this, that's why I disable this option and check it and check this option and already checked by default and select normal and if your GPU device I mean graphics card is uh, very powerful very good then select high uh, and if you have a simple graphics card simple GPU device then select normal from here so I have a simple GPU this is why I am selecting normal from here and uh, it's done go to consoles and select handheld mode from here and if you want to get uh, more fps then select handheld do not select dot so handheld is useful for this game in Yuzo and okay and uh, for more settings right click and we'll go to properties and make sure your settings uh, are same for your game so all settings are same you can see okay now over here um, it's very important thing guys do not skip it so if you are using any 60 fps mod for this game or 30 fps mod for this game then do not use any 60 fps mod for this game now because uh, uh, 60 fps mod or 30 fps mod can cause low fps uh, in user emulator for this game so you can use 30 fps but uh, i don't recommend uh, 60 fps mod for this game so if you face uh, a stuck freezing uh, problem on startup 
for this game then uh, you can use this mod uh, use of fix so and uh, do not use update file uh, update uh, uh, for this game because update and update for this game can cause uh, black screen after starting on user for this game so i disable it and okay and it's done now you can play your game without any issue uh, in your user emulator and if you want more performance more fps for this game then uh, you need uh, more settings for your pc and user emulator but first uh, if you have a powerful gpu and uh, i mean if you have a good gpu and if you have older region drivers then you cannot fix this issue for this game in user uh, these settings are useless if you have uh, older region drivers for your gpu so go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager go to device manager control panel and make sure your drivers are up to date for your gpu device go to display adapter and right click go to properties and drivers now you can see driver date and driver version so drivers are up to date uh, for my gpu i'm using so already installed you can see if you have older region drivers then please update it first uh, it's very important thing uh, to get uh, more performance uh, on you on your pc for user emulator for any switch game okay remember it and if you have uh, already latest vision drivers for your gpu then right click and go to nvidia control panel or control panel for your amd or intel hd graphics so i go to my control panel for my nvidia now go to adjust image settings and uh, check this option and select performance from here and uh, uh, check this option and apply and go to manage 3d settings and scroll down and over here open gl rendering gpu select your gpu device already selected and power management mod maximum performance so already selected from here and scroll down texture filtering quality select high performance from here and already selected and after selecting select uh, apply so uh, uh, click on apply now and uh, go to configure surround and select your powerful gpu over here so click here and uh, wait for some time and click here and select your gpu device and after selecting click on apply and it's done and for more settings right click and go to display settings if you have uh, windows 10 or 11 then scroll down go to graphic settings and uh, remove your old application file from here and select your uh, uh, latest version user emulator so browse and go to your user emulator and uh, select your uh, application file for user select it add and options and high performance and save and guys please do not forget to subscribe my channel i really need your support guys please i will be very thankful to you if you subscribe my channel so please subscribe and uh, and it's done all settings are completed now you can play your game with more performance and more fps so i cannot show you gameplay for this game because of corporate claim by nintendo so i hope you like my this video if you like then please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching bye bye see you in the next video guys